Hi everyone. I've tried to make a video for you a few times and there's just so many things that are coming through that it's just way too scattered. So I thought I would go outside and try to like ground myself a little bit and <sighs> just take a breath with you and see if I can get it out. Okay, so this message is for those who would describe themselves as light workers or perhaps a person who is ready to create a new way of being and living on the earth. Um, those of you who have prepared for a long time, perhaps many lifetimes, for this shift that we are currently going through. The insight that I received over the past few days has to do with attention and how important it is that we are incredibly intentional about where we place our attention. I heard this quote some months ago that said attention is worship and that really struck me and I've been contemplating it and reflecting upon it over the past few months and I feel like it like really sunk in to my being over these past few days in a new way and so I want to try to put into words what it all means for me If you've been following my page for a little bit, then you will understand that I am a believer of that which we see happening on the world stage is merely distraction, theater. That there are beings who we don't see on the world stage who are pulling the strings that there are nefarious agendas that are being furthered while we are so distracted about who's wearing a mask and who's not. This election is no different. I know some of you want to believe that one of these people is on your side more than the other. I really don't think that is the case. And I think that this is distraction. I think it's another event on the world stage that is meant to confuse us, torture us, um, take our precious energy, harvest our energy, steal our attention, so that no matter who wins, these agendas keep going. There's a really specific timeline that is wanting to manifest through these nefarious agendas, through these power structures that are present on our planet. This spans out into the cosmos too, I believe. But I think it's going to be too tripped out if I try to explain that right now. So I'm going to keep it simple. We are... Currently, right now on earth, there is a very, we are in a moment of time where there is a very open portal in terms of what timelines we want to see play out. Right now, there's a lot of different ones coming in and out, collapsing, trying to manifest through us and then collapsing because they're not rooted in integrity and truth and goodness. Those of you who have prepared for this moment on time, you might be taking the stance that I'm taking and being the observer of all of this rather than getting sucked into the drama. And it's really important that you keep doing that because right now, a lot of people are gonna be facing their shadows. We can no longer outsource our power. We can no longer project everything onto these political figures who don't have our best interest in mind, who actually are working for these beings behind the scenes to destroy humanity, literally. Okay, so, attention. 
You've heard that phrase, I'm sure, that says energy flows, energy goes where atten- energy flows where attention goes or something like that. Well, it's true. It really is true. And this is no different. Like, can we pry ourselves away from the world stage for long enough to create a different reality? Because when we give away our precious attention and our precious energy to these events on the world stage, they have won. And this other timeline that we don't want to manifest is going to be manifesting through us because we are portals and our energy is so, and our energy and our attention is so precious and so important. So the only way we are going to create this new earth that we're all talking about is to place our attention on that which we actually want to manifest. Now, the cool thing is we don't have to know what that glorious future will actually look like. We don't have to know the details of what and we don't have to know the details of how to get there. All we have to do is be intentional. So it comes down to intention, attention, and then surrender. Okay, so the intention is to integrate the ego, to integrate that part of us that has separated itself from source or believes itself to be separate, that part of us that is continually projecting savior onto someone, savior onto some politician, or demon onto some politician, that part of us that is projecting onto the others who are voting for the opposite candidate or whatever, that they're wrong and I'm right. Like integrate that back into yourself. That is your power that you are constantly giving away. And how we do that is through the intention to ask whatever is not rooted in truth and goodness, please strip that away from me or like integrate it back into my, into my center. As you do this, as you set this intention of whatever is not true and whatever is not rooted in goodness, please, I don't want that in my life anymore. Life, the naturalness of life responds. It'll show you what lies you've been living. It'll show you all of the lies of the whole political system, (laughs) of all of the systems that are operating on earth. It'll show you. You'll be able to see through it and you'll be able to start to create a new reality. Now, on a collective level, we have to do that more because we want this new timeline to be birthed, birthed through us. I think the good thing to keep in mind is that it's a numbers game and we don't have to have the entire world doing it, but we have to have enough people who have prepared for this moment in time. If you're watching this, it's probably you to be super intentional and super mindful of where you place your attention. So intention first, please life, take away all that is not rooted in truth and goodness. Allow me to continue to walk in truth and goodness. Manifest that through me. And then keep your attention there. That's not to say that you don't have to, you know, that you don't have to, you don't have to ignore completely what's happening on the world stage. You can be informed. But don't get wrapped up into it. Don't give away your energy into this drama. I've seen so many posts of people feeling like, so anxious about if their candidate doesn't win. And I guess what I'm trying to communicate is like, things may seem like they change a little bit on the surface, but below that surface, that same timeline is being played out. That same timeline that has humanity um, basically giving away its humanity is manifesting. These people don't care about you. Let's stop giving them all of our power. Keep our attention on that which we want to manifest. And then 